inside science. Earthquake! Science being beater is successful. Maybe a bit too successful. Today we'll be talking about part two of seeing inside science. Dun, 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 dun. And today we'll be going on with the periodic table of elements. So yeah, periodic table of elements is what makes earthquakes, some pattering rains, and literally even fireworks. And even gunshots. Or the water that you drink. And loads and loads of more. Even soda water might be good. Refreshing. All right. Now, this is the periodic table. There's hydrogen, and helium, and lithium, but really, yeah, and boron, carbon everywhere, and yeah, all those elements that I just said here are all part of the periodic table. This periodic table right here is all the elements, like a very big table list of the world. Now, what is the most important table in the world? No, it's not the table where they sign the Declaration of Independence, not the table of where you do your homework, or not this table where I'm recording my stand, but it is the periodic table of elements. This is just top part of the periodic table of elements. This is not complete. There's actually a periodic chart table right over there, but I'm not going to show you because it's too long and that will make the video longer. All right. Why, why are there different colors that you can see right here? Well, those are groups. This is hydrogen is the only group. That's why it's white here. And then this is the alkali metals, alkali earth metals, transition metals. There's supposed to be a few holes right here. And then these two are supposed to be right here. And then these are, these are like non, these are like uh, transi metals, like something like that between the semi metals. These are the non metals. And these are the halogens. These are noble gases. And then there's supposed to be more. There's also lanthanides. There's also lanthanides and actinides. Yeah. And there's also a one more row of these elements. There's one more row uh, between, uh, under them. Yeah. This is just like... Oh. Now this ends with radon, which is 86 on this list. There is all 118 elements that we've discovered in total. And there might be an end to this periodic table. Elements more than 147 or 27, yeah, are protons, which protons are large and electrons have to spin fast and fast and fast and fast and fast and fast. So fast, in fact, that you will have, it will have to go faster than the speed of light. And going faster than the speed of light is impossible so i made up my own series even though i'm a kid and since my childhood days i've been dreaming up and looking up at the skies and wondering how the universe worked so i decided to study study and study about the science and no, no probably not quantum mechanics but still science and that's where i got where, that's probably where i got today that's probably in my blood yeah and now this is exactly where i want to be this periodic table is made by the Dimitri Mendel Special Science to Dimitri Mendel Soul, which sponsored this video. All right, enough fake sponsors, guys. Enough. Okay. All right, and now this, and now miners are hired to get hired to and paid to get some ores. This is made up of. Let me see. That this is made this out. I poked myself. This uh, little crystal is made up of oxygen and silicon. Yeah. And these are all the elements I want to take out today. Why I spent most of my time studying these is because they're the keys of the universe to me. They're the keys of my world to me. I've been making my own worlds and my own predictions in like the last, the last five, for the last, no, not five, but last four years. Since my days, I've always, from my first early days, I always thought of wizards. Yes. And later, I started, when I started studying of these, I was like, huh, better and better, more science. I started becoming a more better scientist. I started making science videos, and when I started my channel, I 
wanted to make science videos. And then I went inside, told my mom. She was like, yeah, hell yeah. And she supported my dream. And now let's get onto Mars. Mars, the planet. Yep. Now this is a rover that can be used to make experiments. Sorry. Now there is vacuum that can get this for experiments. There is a magnetic hand that can get literally anything magnetic, even lava, which has magnets in them. And even these little wires right here. There is even these power plant wires, power wires. And there is even some kind of acidic metals that keep bacteria out. There is even like plants roots, like plants roots. There are some stuff that dig into the ground for a windy storm on Mars. There are tri tire tracks that can move the move the whole thing. Had to let the go. Oh, and there is a saw that is made of diamonds, and that can cut the toughest metals in the world, even titanium. But probably not itself. Now here there are some other robots that can be seen by this telescope that are used to do other experiments. There are even these types of experiments that are here. Now there are some accidental experiments. This guy named Rongjin saw that the was doing an experiment when he saw that he saw that the the wall which is facing the glass tube which was glowing also the wall was glowing. He put the he put his hand between the glass glowing, glass glowing, and then his hand also be on between the glass glowing tube and the brightening wall, and he could see his shadow hands bones on the wall. That is crazy. That is crazy. And then there's the invention of antibiotics, which is called penicillin back then. Uh, all right. Now this is actually real. They some scientists got some spider DNA and put them into. Some people put spider DNA and then injected them into goats. And when the goats m were, were milked, the milk had the silk chemical that spiders use to make their webs. And then now spiders can't make enough silk to make their clothes. But with the goat silk milk, they were able to use the goat milk to make clothes. Brick. Yes, I agree. Well, yeah, it is yucky. And now let's look at the last paint before we stop this disgusting stuff. Now, we might not have time machines. We might not have time machines, but there is a possible way to time travel into the future. Only the future, though. Only the future. If you want to see the past, you have to, li you have to be born in the past. Past. If you go, so you have to go into space and then come back down after a few days, then you'll be younger than your other people, average other people. And now, and and now these all everyone here is trying to make predictions. It is said that in five billion years, the sun, which is now looking like this, will look like this and explode. Later, later. We are looking at these things, which might be the and lightning balls are coming up everywhere and randomly too. And we're also experimenting if people and if animals in the jungle can live in artificial jungles. We are in. We are. Um, we are. Uh, we are mapping the human brain with psychology. <coughs> Learning about global warming so that we will get more land before and make more ice, probably, and back to a second ice age if we act too fast, I guess. Now, here's my theory about the global warming if we act too fast to stop global warming and we go too far, we might go on and have a second ice age. We might also have a second ice age if. We stop global warming too fast and overreact it like a reacting, like a reactor problem, reactor meltdown. 
And these are all things that scientists can do. And there are loads and loads of different types of subjects in science. There's also cosmology, the study of outer space and star. Entomology, which is the study of insects. Mechanical engineering, which helps designing machines. My dad is the engineer who makes LCD screens. Quantum physics, which is probably just a theory, which can also study all, uh, ta- tell us about the gluons and protons and even the tiniest things in the universe. And then there's psychology, which is the map we can, we can use to map the brain and learn about the brain. And then dendrology, which is study of trees. Informatics, which is the processing of computers. And meteorology, which is not the study of meteorites, but the study of weather. There's chemistry, where we can learn about the metry and the periodic table and how elements react to each other. And yes, of course, all of this is said into one word, science. Science is the secret key to all our universe, and in these two lessons, you learn almost, almost, or almost most of science. So, what did you learn in all these two episodes? Write them in the comments of each video, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shinhan, out!